I've always been a little dissatisfied with this section of my moisture release curve. It's a critical point in the curve. The soil is losing half or more of its total water content, sometimes as much as 80% of its plant available water. But if you rip off this model, the curve is based on these five data points, your saturation point, your 10 kPa, your 33 kPa, your one bar, and your 15 bar point when measured using pressure plates. Pressure plates are really limiting in that way. Leaving aside all the issues, how long it takes, how accurate they actually are, the fundamental issue is that you can only get so many data points using pressure plates. I just always wanted better resolution in this section. That's why I'm such a fan of the high prop. Yes, it takes time to learn how to use it, but once you're going, you can take a sample, wet it up, insert the tensiometers, plug it in, and watch the beautiful curve unfold. Look at some of the data we got earlier this year. This is a poorly graded soilless substrate used in greenhouses. The high prop gave me over 100 data points. These data are much more interesting than you could predict if you were limited to five points. The resolution of this instrument and the breakthrough accuracy and range gains made on the WP4C last year mean that with these two instruments together, you can finally get the resolution across the full moisture release curve that you've always wanted. Don't get me wrong, measuring water potential at the edge of the range of these instruments can still be a challenge, but finally it's possible to get this complete high resolution curve and with much less effort and time than it used to take. These data are phenomenal. If you have any questions, call us at 800-755-2751.